did a little uh, homework as a start. As I said, this is a beginning of a dialogue. I thought it was very productive. Uh, I learned a lot. I think we all uh, learned from each other. And this is the beginning of a process, but we want to get the process moving, and we want to show good faith uh, in the partnership, and that we, we listen and we hear and uh, we respond the best we can. In no particular order, okay, because it was a little bit of a uh, potpourri of, of issues uh, this morning. Uh, the New York State Fair, it is uh, troubling and disappointing to hear that about the New York State Fair. The New York State Fair's uh, role is to promote New York State, and if it's not promoting New York State products, it's not doing its job. By law, the New York State Fair can't prohibit uh, certain products. It can't just market New York State products, but it can certainly uh, highlight and promote and aggressively uh, market New York State products. It should have been doing that for your products, and it will be doing that for your products in the future. Uh, so that change will be made. Saratoga, New York State Racing Association. Uh, Saratoga, I agree, is a great venue. Uh, it uh, serves the state very well. You have people coming in from all across the world, all across the country to Saratoga. Uh, and it could be a great uh, demonstration for us. The state doesn't control Naira, but we just went through a very complicated procedure where we appointed a new board to Naira, and we're going through a transition at Naira. Uh, and the state now does control the board or appointed the board of a private corporation. Uh, and we will be speaking to them, and I have several appointees on that board, and I'm going to be urging them to do the same thing, highlight New York products uh, at Saratoga. So we'll, we will be doing that. On the SLA uh, requirements, don't ask me any questions after I say what I'm about to say. <laughs> The, on the point that was raised uh, that you can't use one facility for multiple, uh, with multiple licenses, that will be changed where you can use one facility for multiple licenses. So it can be a winery, distillery, brewery, can all be used in one building, and you're not going to have to be doing the separate buildings anymore. Uh, <laughs> David, your point about people who uh, are at tastings can't sell, the SLA will uh, change that regulation and will allow people who are at tastings uh, who are pouring to also be able to sell. So if it's your product and you're there and you're pouring the product, you can sell the product. On the $1,000 permit for tastings, uh, that does sound excessive. That will be replaced with a, what will be called a marketing permit, which will be the next generation of the supplier's permit, and that fee will be reduced to $125 per year. <laughs> the marketing permit, which will be the next generation of uh, the, the uh, supplier's permit, Elizabeth, to your point, that permit will allow uh, hard cider, beer, wine to sell at festivals, street fairs, etc. cetera. Uh, again, David's point, and the, the poorer can also be the seller. So the marketing permit will do that. We will simultaneously be eliminating the ags and markets permit that now is required in addition to the SLA licenses. And some facilities require ags and market permitting and SLA. We'll eliminate the active market. If you get the SLA license uh, or permit, that's enough. You don't have to also go through ags and market. We're going to set up at ESDC a one-shop center because this is there is a lot of gray on the uh, people who are producing cider, but by and large, these laws are very complicated, especially for a small startup business. So we'll have a one-stop shop at ESDC, one person, one office. You call this office. You ask them the, uh, your question. It's their business to go figure it out with SLA or figure it out with Ags and Markets or figure, out, figure it out with whoever they have to figure it out. And they will give you advice. If you follow the advice of this person 
and the advice turns out to run afoul of any of the other agencies, you will be held harmless from any potential violation. So one point of contact, you call this person, you give them the query, the question, you rely on their advice, their opinion, uh, and that will be a hold harmless from any agency down below. Uh, and Ken Adams will be putting that together. We will uh, also, I want to put together four working groups to address four other issues, and Secretary to the Governor Larry Schwartz will be doing this. First, uh, we'll be starting international trade shows and marketing shows that market your products internationally. We agree that the New York brand uh, may be more powerful outside of the state than it's uh, inside the state right now. Uh, there's great in initial, there's great uh, international potential, and ESDC will help market that exactly how and when and how you participate. We'd like to put together a working group that works on an international uh, trade function. Second working group will be an ongoing discussion on these SLA regulations and how we can improve them and make them better. So that'll be a second working group if you're interested in that area. Third working group, ESDC has an advertising firm, BBDNO, which is a public relations firm, uh, which has done very good work for us. We want to figure out how to really uh, introduce the product to the New York City market and the restaurant community and the buyers. I don't know if it's the event you now have scheduled. I don't know if it's a separate event. I don't know what it is, but uh, as over the top, uh, blow out as we can do. Uh, we'll use all our uh, joint connections. We'll get the right food channel. We'll get celebrity chefs, but really to introduce this product to the New York City restaurant community because I think that's where the fastest potential is. And let's just put our minds together and come up with the best ideas that we can and we'll do that. Fourth working group is on the promotions. On the promotions, this is what I would like to do. Because again, short term, the New York City market and a, an aggressive promotion campaign, I think is what's going to get us the most mileage. On the promotion campaign, that becomes a function of dollars. Uh, we took a quick look at what Virginia and Washington do. Um, and um, they're basically advertising on television, et cetera, the product. We now, the state spend $700,000 per year to the Wine Institute, which is matched. That's $1.4 million, and that's basically the budget for promotion. Promotion is also operation of the Wine Institute and research. So it's $1.4 million for promotion, operations, and research. The state, through the ESDC advertising budget, will earmark part of their economic development budget that they have. I don't know if you've seen the New York uh, generic economic development ads, but they're up uh, on the air with ads. They'll earmark an additional $1 million of their advertising budget to advertise your product, and they will earmark an additional $2 million to the extent the industries match the $2 million. Uh, because I want you to have some skin in the game also because it's a partnership. So we now spend $700. We'll add a million uh, of earmarked ESDC advertising money and up to an additional $2 million to the extent it's matched. And we'll work with the respective industries uh, on, on a program that does that, wine, beer, distilleries, et cetera. So uh, that could, I think, make a dramatic, immediate uh, impact, and it would be a good way for a collaborative, and it's the essence of what public-private sector partnership is all about. I think. <laughs> I think if we do that, um, we will have we'll see significant results uh, quickly, and uh, I think it's been a great conversation and a great starting point. I think we got a lot done. And uh, most of all, I'm interested in getting over to the mansion and <laughs> tasting some of your fine work. Thank you very much for being here. I'll turn it back to you, Mr. Schwartz. Yeah, maybe you would like to make some closing remarks before we end the summit today.
we, I can safely say on behalf of all of us that you've made our day. And uh, it's just wonderful to hear this type of spirit, the type of commitment that you have made, uh, the quick results already and so forth. And I can tell you that all of these industries are rooted in New York, literally rooted in New York. So even if we wanted to go somewhere else, we couldn't. But we don't. <laughs> we don't. Uh, and that's because we're New Yorkers. We love this state. We're proud of this state. We're proud of what we grow, proud of what we make, um, and just really great to be here in New York. So uh, we're looking forward to the tasting at the mansion. Uh, we're looking forward to the continuation of this process, and I guarantee you that you will have full and enthusiastic cooperation from everybody in this room. Well, it's a good start. Again, I thank you for taking the time to be here. You're all invited back to the mansion for a tasting, and I'll see you there. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, for those...